and you may be like what is hair porosity what does hair porosity mean hi guys and welcome back to another one of my videos my name is genesis and this channel is all about intensive hair care self-care lifestyle makeup and more listed but not limited today we are going to be discussing hair porosity and if you're wondering what is hair porosity or what does hair porosity even mean hair porosity is your hair's ability to absorb or retain moisture in the hair so the porosity of your hair affects how well oils and moisture goes in and out of the outermost layer of your hair known as the cuticle so your hair porosity are divided into three categories low porosity and that is when the cuticle layer is tightly closed together medium porosity and that is when the cuticle layer is slightly open and then we have high porosity and that is when the cuticle layer is widely open so in this video there is so much to gain I'm gonna do this video in parts and since that I have high porosity here I figured why not start there so let's get into it so to understand the concept of high porosity here, you need to know more about your hair structure, which consists of three layers. The cuticle is the protective outer layer of your hair that is made up of smaller cuticles that overlaps each other. And then we have the cortex, and that is a thick layer of your hair that contains the pigment that gives your hair its color and strength. And then we have the medulla, and that is the soft central part of your hair shaft. So, High porosity is when the cuticle layer is lifted, which means moisture and oils absorb easily as well as exit quickly, making it difficult to retain moisture and stay hydrated because the cuticle layer is widely open. So in that case, you will have to moisturize frequently or every other day. So when it comes to high porosity hair, it makes caring for your hair easier. In that case, you don't have to go about wondering what is it that your hair needs or what is happening to your hair. So what are the causes of high porosity hair? Genetics, it's in your genes. It runs somewhere down your bloodline. Constant bleaching and dyeing your hair with no proper care. Relaxer, over-processing your hair, crossing the demarcation line. And that is the line between the natural or the new growth and uh, already relaxed hair. Timing is important when it comes to relaxing. We don't wanna go beyond the, the time that was instructed on the top or on the box, whatever it is that you're using. Hit styling, the less hit the better. Overwashing, overwashing can dry your hair out from its natural oils, especially when using products that contain sulfate. Constantly manipulating your hair, comes hand in hand with overwashing, detangling. Using products that contain harsh chemicals, for instance, washing with products that contain sulfate, paraben, propanol, alcohol. Doing these things can raise or open your cuticle layer, making it difficult to retain moisture in the hair. So here are some of the characteristics of high porosity hair. It observes product quickly. It air dries in a short space of time. Your hair tangles easily. It looks and feels dry. Your hair is prone to breakage, tend to freeze, and freeze hair is a sign that the cuticle layer isn't laying flat. Your hair has little to no shine, meaning it's dull, brittle, and damaged. So how to care for high porosity hair? High porosity hair needs protein treatment. And as for me, I give my hair um, a protein treatment two weeks before relaxer or two weeks after relaxer using a very lightweight protein treatment and that would be the shea moisture or if i need if i find my hair needs a more stronger protein treatment then i will go in with my effigy reconstructor only if my hair needs it um hydrate your hair using a deep conditioner and i use personally the caracare humectant and that product works well on my relaxed hair i use a hydrating hair mask to lay your cuticles down and to retain moisture so when doing that ensure that you rinse with cool or cold water and cold water helps to lay your cuticles down so try to use your deep conditioner at least once or twice a week that will help hydrate your hair as well as reduce damage to your cuticles refrain from hot water because hot water can lift your cuticles whereas cool or cold water lay your cuticles flat so last but not least, let's not forget our oil. Use oils that help prevent freeze and lay the cuticles down, such as avocado oil, jojoba oil to rehydrate your hair, grapeseed oil, um, coconut oil, Jamaican black castor oil. These oils are staples in my hair kit. Um, they are very lightweight, with the exception of the Jamaican black castor oil, which tend to be a bit heavier. In order for your hair to look healthy, or stay hydrated water oil and moisturizing products need to be able to pass through the cuticle 
to the cortex. And also high porosity hair needs intensive care. It needs your TLC, it needs your time, it needs your effort, it needs your dedication. High porosity hair needs care. You know, just imagine our hair is our crown of glory, especially if we have high porosity hair. We polish and shine it, and that is to moisturize and seal our high porosity hair using the liquid cream and oil method to help hydrate our hair. High porosity hair isn't that bad. I think all we need to do is understand our hair and give it the right treatment and care it needs. So guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you haven't checked out my other videos, please go ahead and do so. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.